Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everything is good with you people out there. We are going to be doing an FTMO strategy on how you can get up to two million dollars worth of funded accounts. Now, the strategy works. I've done it. I've passed, you know, I've got a four hundred thousand dollar account with a prop firm at the minute. And with most prop firms, you know, after three months, if you're in profit on your funded account, they will up it by 25%, meaning, you know, every $400,000, you are going to be making absolute bank on that increase, which can get you up to $2 million funded, people. Come on now. If you're new around here, make sure to like, subscribe on this video. If it does help at the end, then let me know in the comments as well, because I want to hear your views on the strategy and if it actually worked for you. I have a free Telegram group, people, plus 2,000 right now in there. Join up, link in description, fire trades. Look on the screen right here. That's all in free trades. That is nothing. That is free education for you who don't want to pay and all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys. As, like, if I get it, you know, the free signals, I vouch them. They're good. They're decent. Join up now. And obviously, we've got a Discord. Make sure to join up. There's like, I don't even know how many people in Discord. There's thousands of people. So, you know, big up the Discord people. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Click on Discord. Check the members' profits. So, if you go on Discord, profit section, you will see the VIP profits as well. So, you can take a look at that because VIP is popping for just $24.99. Over 450 people right now. Let's go, baby. But without further ado, let's get into this FTMO strategy. Let's hop on the charts and let me talk you through... How the hell you beat the system? One hour later. Okay, so I just want to talk about a few things before I show you the strategy with actual trading on the charts. We've got to talk about the trading plan. So everyone get out a pen and paper, get in your notes, and copy this trading plan when taking these pot phone challenges. Because the thing is, is that you need to be consistent. And to be consistent, you need to do the same things every time. Every single day, you do the same thing. And to start with, and this is when starting the challenges, we go 0.5% at the start. Once you get in about plus two to three percent, what you do is, is you start to risk one percent. Once you risk 1%, this means you got two attempts on a trade. And we'll talk about R and stuff in a minute, but you got two attempts on a trade before going in to the same balance that you started with. And it's important to do this because you don't really want drawdown. In trading, there will be a drawdown at times, depending on the market conditions and how your trade's been going. However, to minimal the drawdown because you don't want your psychology to be messed up when you're in a lot of drawdown because for a lot of individual beginners, for a lot of beginners, sorry, it could be quite difficult when you're in drawdown because you start panicking, especially with the size of accounts. You know, you've got the 10K, you've got the 25K, 50K, 100K, 200K. The difference in the lot sizes do change quite quickly. And if you're a new trader or a beginner and you, you know, you struggle with the psychology factor of trading, use smaller risk. Give yourself a chance, you know, you have min 10 days to pass this. So on the trading plan, you've got min 10 days, which is why you use 0.5% at the start. Trading days, with this, just to let everyone know, with these firms, every day doesn't get included as you're trading. It's only when you take a trade. So if you take a trade on, on a certain day, that's one trading day. If you take four days off and you trade again, that's two trading days. Just to let everyone know that, people get, you know, misunderstood and panic and think they've only got 20 days. It's actually 20 actual trading days. So it's a long period of time. You've got a long time to pass. Even if you're in profit, it's a free retake, which is, you know, it's, it's great. It's great stuff. So moving on to the trading plan is that you don't want to take more than, let's just say three to four losses in a week with no wins. Now, this could be a big factor in terms of like your R2R and stuff like that. Because you could get one win and three losses, but still be in profit. And that's due to R2R, which you've got to maximize your R2R with a trade. However, you don't want to be taking, you know, three, four losses on a 1%, taking three, four minus percent going into your next week. So that's why you use 0.5% at the start. Because if you do take four losses, it's 2%. 
you can get that back with your artois i use 20 pips but i use 20 pips because i try and get the best entry i can in a trade i'm not just entering in a mid range i'm entering at the top or bottom um but you have a 20 pip sl which is what i use and on a 0.5 percent you need 80 pips which for example on friday we had buys went up 80 pips on a 1%, which is 4% for me, but then it come back to break even. And this is another thing, always moving your SL to entry. This is so important, and I recommend doing it either when your trade is in good profits, like 40 plus percent, where the trade's broken out, and you know it's broken out, and you know you can make, you know, it's gonna be risk-free. In terms of you don't wanna move it 10, 15 pips in profit, move yourself to entry and then come back to entry. I did that a few times this week, was, you know, the market conditions were up, so I didn't wanna over trade and take, take a lot of risk with my trading, which is why I did that. However, you got to adapt to markets, which is a key factor in trading. Um, but it's always best, no matter what you do, SL to entry for risk-free, what in the world? can you win money where it's risk-free and that's another great thing with trading if you can get the right entries then pretty much of your trading is risk-free obviously everyone takes their sales you know don't think that no one doesn't take a sales you take a sales depending on your artois as well it's the biggest thing but everyone's going to take a sales so that's minimal the sls with sl entry and then do this ready you're only going to trade twice in the first week when you trade twice in first week it's important. You don't want to, you know, rush this challenge. You get minimum 10 days. It's not maximum 10 days, pass within 10 days. You have time. So let the markets play out. If your trades come in, great. Wait. Biggest thing in trading is waiting. For example, two weeks ago, I traded twice in a week. Had over 22%. This week, I'm down, I think, like 2% or something. I need to look. Monday and Tuesday were really good days for me. Um, when, uh, and Wednesday, uh, I don't know if I trade Wednesday, but Thursday and Friday were rough days for me. However, if I stuck to the twice a week, I would have had a good Monday, Tuesday, possibly you know Wednesday at maximum, but a good Monday, Tuesday, and then not trading for the rest of the week and being in the same profits where I continue to trade, hit SLs, and lost money. You know what I'm saying? So it's always good to not rush, trade twice in the first week and start to build up your balance positively instead of going into drawdown and messing up. Everyone write this down, do this trading plan and use it in your day-to-day -day trading as well, you know, on your live accounts, stuff like that. No need to double enter in trades, stuff like that. If you guys want me to do more stuff on this, comment down below. But without further ado, let's get in to the charts, baby. Peace. A few moments later. I'm just going to show you a quick strategy to help you trade gold. This is after, obviously, I told you about the strategies with FTMO and stuff like that. But with, this is with trading now. <clears throat> I aim for big artois. So I'm going to show you an example. This sell limit that hasn't quite come in. So when you see this video, if it hasn't come in yet, make sure to set it. It's a VIP signal. And um, yeah, hopefully it comes in and you guys can bless up the comments down below. But with trading, you go on a daily. And you just got to look at zones and you got to look at areas. So, for example, 1678 touch, big support down there. Then it ranges to about 1833 again, which is touched multiple times, dropped down, come back up, touched again. Was when a bullish market because we touched, but we found support down here, which means this is going to go bullish all the way up until 1900 slash 1913s. And we actually saw it come all the way to 18, uh, 1918 just before this wick up here. So now we're looking for resells again. So my initial mindset after this 1753 wick out and this lower high here is obviously bullish momentum now. And if you check on the 1H, I'm looking for a resell back down to 1775. From 1775, we're gonna go up, down, all the way back up to 1911.50 because you're gonna go retest the previous wick that sold off down to uh, 1875, which would be this previous wick here. At, eight, at 1912 basically 1911.80 so you're going to look for a retest there and that's basically how trading is the reason why you're going to look for a retest there is because with this bullish engulfing candle on the one hour price went from here all the way up to 1915 1916 now this is why it's important this is going to now become a zone right here that's going to trade in and it will retest before selling out of the zone so it's a break 
retest, break through, all the way back down to 18.22, and then it'll go up, come back down again, all the way back down, I, I reckon to about 17.18 again. If not, then definitely around 1800 level because it'll basically retest anywhere between 17.19 and 1800. This is dependent on the sell market, you know, the yearly downtrend bearish, it is as well. So potentially, you know, you could see this sell all the way back down to 16.78, but within the 1H, let's just take it for granted. Let's just take it for example, sorry, within the month or so, we're probably gonna see sales all the way back down to 18.22, and then we're gonna see it, you know, go down then up to retest and break then down and up. Let's go, baby. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to show some support by liking, subscribing. I will be live streaming on Twitch. Make sure to check out this in the description link down below. We are popping off on live stream. We have like 150 plus viewers. I appreciate you guys. Hope this video helps you. Check out my other content. Until next time, I will catch you in a bit, baby.